Hello people, welcome to Trek 12 Quant 45 to 51 series presented by Mission MBA. We will be dealing with mixtures and allegations today. So, would you like to see what happens in the mind of Quant 51 test taker? Let's go ahead and have a look. So guys, before starting, I would recommend you that please watch the video till the end so that you learn it. Do not be in a haste to just click the back button or cross it. Watch it completely and I assure you, you will learn something very good today. 17 liters of alcohol solution with 43% and 51 liters with 23%. So 51 liters, 23%, 17 liters and 43%. The ration which you are combining is 1 is to 3. So the combination will have a concentration of 23 plus 1 by 4, multiply by the difference of this, that's 20, and hence nothing but 28%. Now, that's quite strange, right? How I was there to the answer in just 7 seconds. So, do you want to learn it? Let's continue the video and try to learn what just happened. Alright guys, before going to the actual scenario, let's understand a simpler scenario first, right? so that you get it very easily and then we will move to the difficult and the advanced questions all right so i'm taking a simple scenario guys if it would have been like one liter of 10 percent solution is mixed with one liter of 20 percent solution what would have been the concentration many of you would get to the answer that okay since the amount is same one liter and one liter so, the net resultant will be at the center and that's 15%. So, guys, what actually happens? There is a window of 10 to 20 because one mixture was at 10% and the other one is at 20%. So, the resultant, guys, has to be between these two. Now, since the amount you are adding for 10% and 20% is same, this one liter tries to pull 20% towards 10%. Whereas this one liter tries to pull 10% towards 20%. Now since their amount is equal, what happens is that the window settles in the middle and that's 50%. So this window actually get divided in the ratio of 1 is to 1. Why? Because the amount was same. Let's have a look what happens in a little advanced scenario. Now, if I give you 2 liters over here and 3 liters over here, now the ratio is not 1 is to 1. Let's take the percentage as 10% and 20%. Now guys, the window is again of 10. Now this 2 liters will try to pull 20 towards 10. Of course yes, the 10% quantities will try to bring the average towards 10%. And similarly, this 3 liters will try to pull 10% towards 20%. Now, this window of 10 is actually divided in the ratio of 3 is to 2. This guy will have the impact here because this 3 is pulling 10. So this side would be 3. They would have done the more work. They are more. So 10 will be pulled more. So this 3 will impact on this side. And this 2 will impact on this side. So here, this 2 will be able to pull 20% this side by 2 times whereas this will be able to pull it by 3 times. So the ratio is 3 is to 2. Now clearly if the ratio is 3 is to 2, the total is 10, this is going to be 6 and this is going to be 4. So the net is going to be 16%. Now let's generalize it, right? Let's generalize it so that it becomes more easier for you. Let's continue. Now this particular scenario, what do I have? I have 43% and I have 23%. This I have as 15 liters and this I have as 17 liters. Now I want you to follow a few steps. First step, just find out the ratio of the quantity. Here the quantities in which the mixtures are mixed are nothing but 3 is to 1. Now when the quantity is 3 is to 1, simple, 23 is going to go up, right? And 43 is going to come down. So you can start with anything. I'm showing you both. If I start with 23, 23 is going to go up. So plus. How many people pulling 23? 
one people pulling 23. So plus one. How many people in total? Three plus one. That's four. Multiply by the value you are pulling at. The value we are pulling at is 43 minus 23. That's 20. So I'm writing it down over here so that you do not mess it up. So this is 43 minus 23. Later on, we'll do it directly. So this becomes 23 plus 1 by 4 multiplied by 20. And the answer becomes 28%. You could have also gone by 43. How? Let's see. Now 43, it's being pulled up or pulled down. 43 is going to go behind. So it's going to be pulled down. So minus. How many people pulling 43? Now this side. Just remember this, that this pulls 43 and this pulls 23. So three people out of many, out of four. And the value being pulled is 43 minus 23. So now again you get 43 minus 3 by 4 into 20. That gets cancelled by 5. So 43 minus 15, which is nothing but 28%. So I hope you would have got it. If not, I'm going to repeat it once again, but this time a little quick. Try to catch up. 23% with 51 liters and 43% with 17 liters. Calculate the ratio, the first part. So 1 and this is 3. So 23 being pulled up by how many people? 1 people. Remember to cross upon 1 plus 3. That's 4. The total people. And here the value is 43 minus 23. That's 20. This window. It gets cancelled, 5 and 28% answer. You don't have to solve from both the sides. But if you start from the opposite side, it has to be something like this. 43 pulled down. So minus. How many people? The cross one. 3. Out of how many? 3 plus 1. That's 4. The value or the window, 20. 5. So 43 minus 15. That's 28%. I hope you would have got it. Fine. If you have got it. Try the next question on your own. Otherwise, you can understand that as well. So the answer to this, 28%. Let's move to the next one. Right. So now I have 13% with 85 liters. And 93% with 51 liters. So this is 17 3 ja and 17 5 ja. So 13 is going to go up. How many people? The cross one. 3. Out of how many? 8. 3 plus 5. The value? 93 minus 13. That's 80. Gets cancelled. 30 and 13. 43 is the answer. The answer is C. I hope you have loved the video. So I have lot many tricks coming every day which is going to make your task very easy guys. So please do subscribe the channel and get ready for some more updates and let's crack the GMAT and let's learn how to get Quorum 51 very easily. Thank you and have a nice day.